every human being that exists on this earth deserves to live a dignified life and um, that includes of basic things, so quality education, access to water and sewage, housing, to be able to give people um, an opportunity and chance I think to unleash and unlock their potential. I'd really like to live in a world that looks like that. There are many ways to achieve that kind of world but one of the ways is in tax. Domestic resource mobilization is important for two reasons. One thing obviously is Governments need to like develop infrastructure, give education to people, invest in health. So you need money for that, that which comes from taxation. The second thing is redistribution. So to redistribute also you need tax policy. So where you can take from the rich and you can transfer it to the poor. But you do it in a manner which is which does not destroy incentives. Beyond the issue of having data for research in the first place, um, I think the other part is looking at how the receipt of AIDS by most African countries um, and what comes with that affects the ability to actually research and analyze policies before they're implemented or the reasons behind the um, implementation of certain policies without a proper research or policy um, analysis. So to bridge the gap between research and tax policy in Africa, we have to look at the actual objectives of implementing certain policies and where they come from. In Africa, I think there's, there's been a lot of movement in terms of, of thinking about what's the appropriate taxation rate. But where we haven't yet done well is in terms of thinking about the tax base. In other words, who exactly is paying for taxes? So we need to think hard about how we expand that base and ensure that there's sufficient revenue for countries to be able to fund the mandate on the expenditure side of the budget. So what uh, research offers to tax administration and tax policy is essentially to have a very clear perspective on which policies and which administrative interventions work and which do not work. We need to work with real world data to make their models work and to estimate how the farms or workers or businesses behave in response to taxation, but also for like tax collectors because they can improve policy design based on the evidence that research generates. So one example I can give is Ugandan Revenue Authority partnered with researchers from Univider. So they looked at a scheme whereby the Ugandan Revenue Authority can expand their tax base by bringing in small firms under a simplified presumptive tax regime. And what I know that, that those interventions were like huge success in the sense that they increased filings, more people were filing returns, so the base was expanded and the people were happy, so it was kind of a win-win situation. I would like to see a world where there's ease of access to tax administrative that although it is highly sensitive and confidential, but we could find a way of ensuring that we could use it for our research purposes to inform policy. The value of the wider Winter School really is that we've been able to bring together experts in the fields of tax policy research. And this is in the areas of uh, international taxation, informality, uh, tax evasion and avoidance. Researchers uh, from different revenue authorities and government institutions now have an opportunity to hear from these experts. So we've had uh, data lab sessions where the experts have actually gone through line by line how to run some sort of analysis. The key thing for me is to have, you know, this network where they, they can engage with fellow uh, you know, researchers, but also have access to UN wider in terms of support. I think that is really useful for emerging researchers to have. We've had an amazing cohort, just realizing that the issues that you face in your own country are not unique. Someone from Zambia or Malawi or Uganda has similar issues. I think it helps for us to be able to brainstorm these ideas around if we have a similar issue, how do we put our heads and brains together to be able to solve them? So the amazing people I think I've met has been quite a highlight. For me, the big learning has been that if you don't talk to people that are inside revenue authorities, then you're never going to be successful in terms of designing new policy. So that's also why I think this wider winter school has been so amazing, is because we brought together the people who actually work at the coal face, together with the academics, to think through best practice, but best practice that's embedded within a particular context.